Evening, Battelle's grocery and catering business in Claremont County opened its doors 37 years ago. A lightning strike yesterday closed those doors permanently. Well, the neighborhood icon is located on Old 74 at Summerside, right on the edge of Eastgate. And that's where we find Local 12's Rich Jaffe with this very sad sign of the times. Rich? Kid Fred Battelle explained to me that he was actually planning to retire in a few months, but he never expected to be closing the doors like this. A lightning strike yesterday fried the electrical system here, and that obviously meant that they were no longer able to keep food cold. Losing this place means losing a significant piece of the fabric of this entire community. For 37 years, Battelle's has been the kind of place that everybody wishes they had in their community. It's the kind of place where you walk in as a stranger for a sandwich and walk out as a friend. For Fred Battelle, closing the door is tough. When you're used to being here every day, seeing the same faces every day, literally seven days a week in some cases, you know, they, they become more than just uh, customers, they become your family. A lightning strike Thursday destroyed the electrical system here. The cost, the water damage, all led to Fred's earlier than expected retirement. We've watched uh, families grow up and start families of their own. Well, Adam's a good example. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was just a little candy grubbing kid when he, he first started coming in. That's Local 12's Adam Clements Fred's talking about. It's a tough day for Fred's wife, Linda, too. She's still taking catering orders because everyone here knows, disaster or not, their customers are counting on them for a big basketball weekend. Delivering the bad news to walk-ups fell to Fred and Linda's daughter today. We had a small electrical fire yesterday, okay. and um, so we were closed indefinitely. West Claremont Elementary Instructional Basketball League, yeah, we helped them out too. Mattel sponsored hundreds of sports teams over the years, even when times were tough. Why? It's our community. We live here. These are our friends. These are our families. Laura Graber's been doing business here for 25 years. Oh, baby, <laughs> oh, baby. She's taking the news pretty hard, too. It's convenient, and I love Fred. <laughs> He's been here forever. It's, it's just wonderful, the people. You can't beat it. The great sandwiches, the, it's just all perfect right here. Now, while the power is out here, and you can see that folks are still showing up at the doors, Fred and Linda and the crew will be filling the orders that they were taking today and the orders people placed previously just down the road at the Mount Carmel Brewery from 12 to 5. So if you place one of those orders, that's where you pick it up, the Mount Carmel Brewery between 12 and 5. And as for Battelle's, the best sandwiches I know. That sign is the real sign of the times. Closed. In Union Township, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Kit? Well, now I want a sandwich, Rich. <laughs> they made great sandwiches, I will tell you. They were extraordinary. And Adam Clements got me started on this place. <laughs> it, it really is a loss to everybody in, in this community, and it will be felt that way for a long time. All right. Thank you, Rich. Fred Battelle says when the lottery first came to Ohio, his grocery was the only lottery location in the entire area. And he spent 50% of his lottery proceeds every month to sponsor those local sports teams. At one point, Battelle's was the sponsor for 11 different teams at the same time. Fred Battelle says he wanted to help out everyday kids, the ones that just wanted to play the game.